السلام عليكم ورحمة الله الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وبعد وعن ابن عباس رضي الله عنه عنهما قال عبد الله بن عباس كان رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم أجود الناس he said that the messenger of Allah was the most generous of all people Basically he's saying if you ever met him, if you ever saw him, he was the most generous of all people. وَكَانَ أَجْوَدُ مَا يَكُونُ فِي رَمَضَانِ And he was even more generous in the month of Ramadan حِينَ يَلْقَاهُ جِبْرِيل When Jibreel, the angel Gabriel, when angel Jibreel used to go and meet him. وَكَانَ جِبْرِيلُ يَلْقَاهُ فِي كُلِّ لَيْلَةٍ مِنْ رَمَضَانِ Jibreel would meet the Messenger of Allah in every single night of Ramadan فَيُدَارِسُهُ Quran, And he would teach him and he would study and review the Quran with him فَلَا رَسُولُ اللَّهِ صَلَى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَّمْ حِينَ يَلْقَاهُ جِبْرِيلُ أَجْوَدُ بِالْخَيْرِ مِنَ الْرِيحِ الْمُرْسَلِ And he says every night when the, or every day in Ramadan when the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, you know, because Jibreel was meeting him and because it's the month of Ramadan, he would be more generous than the flowing wind, than the, the wind that, the, a strong blowing wind. So if you've ever been outside on a windy day, you probably experienced this. We have the Santana winds, you know, over here in America. Sometimes you drop something and it just starts flying away. Imagine how, how that wind just keeps on coming. You're like it's just pushing the trees and everything. That was the generosity of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. He was that, he was already generous throughout the year. We've seen some hadith before if you've been coming for Fajr. Sometimes somebody would give him a garment. Somebody said, I like that. It's a really nice looking garment. He went home, took it off, wrapped it up, and gave it to the person as a gift. That's outside Ramadan. Inside Ramadan, he's even more generous than that. He's just giving and giving and giving. So subhanAllah, we're about to reach the month of Ramadan. We, it's a perfect opportunity. Not only are we fasting. Not only are we controlling what we say and the, the, the thoughts in our in our mind and in our hearts, but we should learn that generosity. We should be there and say, you know what? Every little thing, just think about what, what can you possibly be generous of in the month of Ramadan? You're coming, you are about to put your shoes on the rack because we have a beautiful program. Now shoes are on the rack, right? There's penalty. This is the way to take care of the masjid. So let's say there's one spot left and you say, you know what? There's another brother right next to me. Let him put this one, I'm going to walk to the other shoe rack, I'm going to put my shoes. Generosity, some small things. Someone's walking in the masjid, and you say, you know what, should I enter the door? The person's right next to me, usually the person on the right should go. I say, okay, you know what, brother, you go ahead. Any little act of generosity that we can do, this is the time to start practicing it when we reach the month of Ramadan. Now to practice it, and do it even more in the month of Ramadan. So may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us among the generous people. أمي وصلى الله على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم السلام عليكم